ओके गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग गुड नाइट डॉक्टर नर्सेस एंड फार्मासिस्ट आई एम डॉक्टर चे एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओ राइटिंग टिप्स वी हैव दीज केस नोट्स दीज आर माय ओन केस नोट्स वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू राइट अ लेटर ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स एंड वी विल ट्राई टू राइट अ लेटर ऑल्सो ओके वी विल सी वट इज इम्पोर्टेंट वट इज नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट विच टाइप ऑफ लेटर दिस इज how to organize how to write purpose how to write conclusion all of these things in today's class okay so before we start just i want to ask how much time will you have in the real exam to complete your task anyone how much time will you have in the real exam to complete your task To forty-five minutes. Forty to forty-five or forty-five or forty. Five minute reading time and forty mm -hmm. minutes for writing. Okay, very good. Okay, five minutes reading time and forty minutes to write your letter. What you can do in these five minutes reading time? We select the uh, points like a the. necessary points like a need social history need main points write in the letter and which point is not right It's in good. the right so in these 5 okay. minutes you will only be able to read your letter you will not be able to write or underline or anything uh, you can, you will not be able to have your pencil in your hand okay you will just have your question these case okay. notes in front of you and your answer sheet in front of you but you will not be able to write anything because you will not be allowed to pick your pencil okay so what you can do in these 5 minutes you will quickly read your letter quickly read and plan in your mind how you are going to organize what you will write in the purpose which type of letter this is how, how many paragraphs you are going to write which information is relevant which information is irrelevant all of these things okay and plan how many paragraphs you are going to write what you are going to write in the purpose what you are going to write in the conclusion which information is relevant which is irrelevant okay and in the next uh, 40 minutes you will be writing your letter on the uh, answer sheet and in these in this time and will, in, this, in, this, in this time you will proof read also okay so now today we will discuss this letter we will try to write like a real letter okay so you will learn a lot of things so first of all whenever you get a letter in front of you just quickly read one or two things from the surface here and then go to the where from the bottom uh, no to the task okay go to the task okay so just this okay. is time and assume today's day is you are a doctor and nurse at this hospital read the notes below and write the task and complete the task okay. let us go to the task if you read the task it says using information in the case source write a letter even you need to see the diagnosis this is discharge plan and if you see assessment here this is snake bite neurotoxic okay sometime they write assessment and the final diagnosis here also so in the case no in the writing task this using the information in the case notes write a letter to dr che patient's family physician for further a care and follow up okay so you are writing this letter back to patient's family physician okay assalamu alaikum so here wa alaikum assalam so here details of the family physician's are given so this is dr chair general physician brexton family clinic this is the address and this is the name of the city okay So what comes in your mind after reading this writing task what comes in your mind about this letter can anyone explain me
Excuse me, sir. If you don't mind, I would like to take your few minutes. Yes, please. Yeah. Before class. Yeah. Assalamu Yeah. alaikum, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Kossar. And today I'm going to share my experience with uh, Dr. Che. Uh, Dr. Che is really an amazing teacher. And his way of teaching is really fantastic. So any one of you who is having trouble with writing parts, I would recommend to take his classes. I would like to share my experience because uh, I appeared twice for this OET exam. And each time I got 320 scores. Two Uh, times, each you have class taken OET is already two times, yeah? Yes. And each time I got 320 score. In writing. And I used to take class. Yes, sir. And I used to take classes from many tutors and even benchmark as well. Mm-hmm. But uh, no one guide me properly. No one point out my mistakes where I'm going to make a mistake. But uh, Dr. Che helped me a lot. He point out my minor mistakes. And due to his classes, this time I got 420 marks. 420 in from writing. 320 to 420. 100 Yes, marks so improvement. Yeah. Even I got yes, in the real exam, so I got I would 400. recommend. In my real exam, I got 400, but you got 420. Yes, sir. Sir, because of your classes, I got 420. But I was shocked when I saw my score, but it's just because of your effort. So I would recommend anyone who has having trouble with writing. So instead of wasting money and time here and there, I would recommend to take your classes to get your desired score. Thank And you I so would much. like to So thank this is you a again. thank you again. So Thank this is you, a real sir. real Thank feedback. you, sir. So you people, as you know, I don't uh, tell any lie and I don't make any fake, you know, feedbacks. Uh, so she joined my co- uh, classes. Even I got today a message of someone who told me that she has recommended you to join my classes. I don't remember the name. So someone someone referred you. for my classes i think so she told you about the class Yes, sir, sir. okay I would recommend everyone who is yeah having trouble thank you thank to take you your classes. thank you so much Thank you, sir. thank you Thank you. so so if anyone wants to join our uh, writing classes and speaking feedback also so you are welcome and nowadays we have special discount even you have seen that in uh, today's task okay This is this is my special course, VIP hybrid course. And this is the course which she joined and she got and she got 420 after joining this course. Okay. So we were discussing this letter. My my way of teaching is I I just prefer individual one to one teaching. Okay, so this is different from other tutors. Okay, so after reading this letter, what comes in your mind? So what comes in your mind is, number one, this is a discharge letter. Number two, you are sending this patient back to patient's family physician. Number three, anyone can tell me what else? What else? So as we are writing back to family physician, it means that the physician already knows this patient. And we will skip all the information that the family physician already knows about this patient, okay? Okay? Anyone has any questions so far? Any questions so far? Please mute. Please mute. So, any questions so far? Next, we are going to read the case notes. Okay. This is today's date and you are a doctor or nurse at this hospital. Read the case notes and complete the task. Okay. Name of the patient is Daniela White and you will get your, the title. Many of you are worried we are going to write Miss or Mrs. whatever or Mr. So, you will mostly you will get in the real exam in the bracket. Okay. So, you will write for this patient Miss. Daniela White, okay. 
is female date of birth is given age is given so if both date of birth and age given so what we will write in the greeting part date of birth so you can write both of them but i prefer the age okay because you can quickly know how old this patient is you can write both of the uh, one of them okay date of birth or age both of them are okay but uh, i prefer the age okay this is social back background of the patient she is married she lives with children and one daughter one son and she work as a doctor at this institute and the hobby is painting and camping okay this is social background of the patient in the past medical history she smokes and drinks allergy no known allergies and uh, she, she had chicken pox at the age of 3 and was treated with antiviral a chronic sinusitis and she has regular follow ups with ent specialist and she got vaccination status her vaccination status her last dose of tetanus vaccine was 1 year ago this is tetanus vaccine history family father is diabetic mother is hypertensive and has gout and then the main issue of this patient starts on this date on 10th of 11 2020 this is the real date when i have written this letter okay these case notes in 2022 so almost 2 uh, years ago so i wrote these case notes so in the real exam uh, you will get today's date would be the same as exam date okay so on this date what happened at 10 in the morning snake bite on right foot so i'm not writing complete sentence because these are the notes just snake bite on her right foot and can you hear me well can you hear me yes sir okay and uh, patient was camping in desert and uh, there was severe pain and bleeding at the wound site and she calls 911 the emergency number and she was rescued by air ambulance uh, as there was no road access then uh, at the first aid was given by tour guide what this this first aid in includes they have removed hiking shoes and socks and they washed the wound the bite site with water and soap then this is just my discount offer and they also covered the wound with clean and dry dressing so this is first aid that was given by tour guide okay at 10:30 in the morning so after half an hour the air ambulance arrived and and when they arrived at the bite site there was redness there was swelling there was bruising there was severe pain and tenderness signs of infection patient was having labor labored breathing and disturbed vision and his and her examination showed saturation this blood pressure this temperature this and pulse this and there was weak pulse and there was decreased knee reflex okay in a infected leg side okay on assessment it was neurogenic shock and the reason was why this is question mark here with neurogenic shock why there is question mark with neurogenic shock can anybody tell me why not properly diagnosed that So we cannot say not properly diagnosed. diagnosed. No, this 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 wording is not good. Not properly diagnosed. This is possible diagnosis. Most likely diagnosis. Possible, okay. With question mark is most likely possible diagnosis. Okay. And the reason for this shock is okay. uh, snake bite, okay. And this is the treatment that was given at that time, okay, when the air ambulance arrived. Then how after half an hour, the patient reached at this hospital. The pain was decreased. There was no bleeding. and uh, what is this tingling in right foot the range of motion rom is range of motion of right knee was decreased right knee reflex was absent and there was ptosis and slurred speech this is the examination at that time there were blisters and what is this here on right foot and leg assessment at that time this is no confirmed assessment there is no question mark okay snake bite the neurotoxic okay type of snake bite is neurotoxic okay 
so the treatment uh, at the hospital is given is this one the treatment that was given at hospital is this one okay morphine antivenom and hormone solution and you know vaccination uh, on this date there was improvement and patient had no fever or vomiting and and about wound there was no redness bleeding swelling or discharge and vitals were normal examination was normal neurological examination and range of motion was normal and this is the discharge so this is the discharge and this is the date so this is the same date you are going to discharge the patient 24th okay monitor vital so this is the discharge plan so why this is plan for for whom you are writing this plan for whom you are writing this plan physician of physician of the patient physician of this patient so so the physician family physician will monitor signs of infection and they will do daily neurological examination they will uh, daily do dressing of this patient for the next 5 days okay this is the plan for the physician gp okay after this is the task okay so now you have read your letter and you know how many visits are there and what information is there now it is time to plan your letter okay so how you will plan is discharge letter how we were uh, right chronological order order of importance which type of this letter is discharge letter yeah we will write in chronological order order of importance do you know what is chronological order order of importance Order of importance is when you write the most important visit first, that is mostly today's visit, and then we are then you write initial visit. That is mostly for urgent letters. For the shy letter, for non-urgent letters, we mostly follow chronological order. In chronological order, you write initial visit first, then next visit, then next visit, and then conclusion like this. Okay. So here in this letter, we will follow chronological order. Okay. So in chronological order, we will first have purpose. After purpose, you need to see how many visits you have there, okay? And how you will organize. First, you have 20th of November 2022, okay? This date. And in this date, there are three visits, mean three timings are given. And then your 24th discharge date, okay? If you only write two dates, 20, all the events that happened in 20, on 20th of November, like this. So all things, all events, okay. And then 24th, 11, 12 is today's visit and discharge, okay. And do you think in this letter, all this information that is given, father has diabetes, mother has hypertension, and uh, patient had chicken pox, chronic sinusitis, tetanus vaccination, smoking, drinking, allergies, and uh, lives with uh, children and works in this institute and hobbies, all these things are important or not? No, sir. Why? Not important to mention. Because we are uh, writing, we are write this, writing this letter to the GP of the patient. So there is no... Yes, you are writing this patient to... GP to the GP of this patient. They already know about this. Another thing is, patient was bitten by a snake. Is it important to mention these things for a snake bite and for the treatment of snake bite? No, sir. No, okay. There is no need, okay. So if any of you writes a paragraph about social history of this patient, past medical history, you will clearly fail your exam, okay? Sir, 
sir. And uh, what about the last dose of tetanus vaccine? Yes, okay, you can mention, but the patient was already treated. Okay, sir. They have treated it because they have given tetanus dose, tetanus vaccine, vaccine in the in the if you see during hospitalization. Uh, you will see somewhere there's a given, okay. Booster dose of tetanus was given because the last dose was more than uh, 10 years ago, okay. So it's already treated, so it's also not important, okay. Is GP going to give any booster dose for tetanus? No, okay, it is already given, so there's no need to mention this also. Okay? So if any of you writes anything about the past history, social history in your letter, you will get low score. If you are doctor, you will get C+. plus. If you are nurse, you will get C, okay? So we are not going to write anything about social history. We are not going to write anything about past medical history. So we have only two dates, 20 and 24th. 24th is discharge date, today's date. Then we have 20 of November, so one day, okay? If you write all these three events in one paragraph, do you think your letter will be good in organization or paragraphing? Yes or no? Can anybody discuss with me anything so you can learn, please? So how you're going to organize? Right. Yes, please. How are you going to organize your letter? First, in the 20th November, patient came with a complaint and how to manage, how examination finding. And then second paragraph, 24, for the discharge plan and patient condition and discharge plan. So I my question is how you will organize your paragraphs? How, pen, how many paragraphs you will write in your letter? Purpose. And yeah. Initial paragraph. Second paragraph for discharge. Plain paragraph. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Anyone else? Uh, sir, purpose. Uh, yeah, initial, visit, initial visit and the recent condition of the patient and the discharge plan and conclusion. So you are seeing is yes, purpose initial visit. Okay. Then today's visit or discharge and then conclusion four paragraphs. Yeah. Yes. Sir. And you will not write any social history or past medical history, yes or not? We will not write. Good, very good, okay. Do you think if you organize your letter like this, you will get uh, B or C plus, if you are doctor B or if you are nurse C plus, if you organize your letter like this? Anyone? No? Okay. No, my question is, if you have this date and you have all of these things happening at 10 in the morning, all of these things plus this also at 10 in the morning, then after half an hour, you have all of these things happening to the patient in the next half an hour, after half an hour. Then again, after half an hour, when you reach the uh, at the hospital, you are having all of these things happening to the patient. Okay? You will mention these to the GP. Okay. If you mention all of these things in one paragraph, do you think you, have, you are having good organization of your letter, good paragraphing? I believe no, it has to be in two paragraphs. One, the things that have been that have been done on the way, and the things that have been done in the hospital. Yeah. So it's very easy. Just divide it into three. Okay. What happened at ten in the morning? What happened at ten thirty in the morning? Okay, 
and what happened at 11 in the morning okay then write today's visit discharge plan and write the conclusion okay even but I, I, you can I add have a question please. yes please does the GP need to know everything that has happened for the patient, including the first aid and everything that has been uh, going on in the hospital? Yes, briefly. This is a discharge letter. Briefly. We cannot say we cannot just say, okay, this patient was bitten by a snake and now he is stable, and we are sending this patient to home. Just do his dressing daily, and uh, whatever it is written, okay. So just do these things, okay? Uh, do dressing, monitor for infection, and do daily dressing, do neural examination. No, no, this is not a discharge plan. Okay. I mean the, the the provisional diagnosis and the, yeah, and each the, and everything. The, yes. Each yes, and everything, okay. but briefly, briefly, okay. So you are going to write all of these things in from uh, in within your word count limit, okay? In one eighty to two twenty. Just imagine, just imagine, you don't have these case notes with you, okay? Just imagine. You don't have these case notes with you, okay? I am sending this patient to you, or you are sending this patient to me, and we don't have these case notes. We don't know anything about the patient, what happened, and how he was admitted. So, how you are going to tell me about all the things about the patient, important things? But writing a letter and telling me each and every important thing about the patient, okay, briefly, concisely. This is the purpose of teaching you in OET to write letters, okay? So that you can, when you're writing this letter to another doctor, even in the real life, you write letters, okay? So you should be very concise and to the point and mention all important things, okay? Good. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? No, sir. No, okay, good. So now we are going to start writing our letter, okay? So we will organize in this way, okay? Purpose and all of these things, okay? So first of all, purpose. What do you need to write in the purpose? In purpose. What do you need to write in the purpose? Two things. Number one, diagnosis Condition of the patient. Of the patient. Condition of the patient diagnosis the main issue, and number two, what we want from the writer to do. What we want from the writer, okay, from the reader for this patient, okay. So we need to write these two. It's very easy to write a purpose, okay. Number one, what is the main issue of this patient? Yeah, and what you want from the reader? Why are you writing this letter to the reader, okay? And I, I, I must, I have marked thousands, thousands of letters. And when your purpose is not good, you miss one of these things. I laugh like this. Okay. Okay, good. So if you are a doctor, you are going to get C+. plus. So if you are a nurse, you are going to get C. Because you don't know how to write the purpose. What I am going to see in your body paragraphs, even if you don't know the purpose. And even according to criteria, if you don't get two out of three in purpose, you will not get B grade, even if your rest of the letter is very good. Okay, so purpose is very important. So, you are sending this patient back, so we will start like this. I am writing to update you on, then name of the patient, okay? What is the name? Miss Daniela White. So we are going to write Miss Daniela White or only short, short name, okay? Surname. What you are going to write? Miss White or Miss Daniela? Miss White. Miss White. White. Use surname, okay? So I am going to, I am writing to update you on Miss White. Okay, now you are going to write the issue of the patient, okay? Are we going to write the age? Mostly in nursing letters, they write the complete name in the purpose and then they write a uh, surname in nursing letters. But it's okay if you use surname from the start. Is no, mostly we, we see this, okay? Okay, then issue of the patient, okay? 
Are we going to write the age here? Yeah, you can write. It's optional, okay? Let us skip it, okay? Just write the main issue of the page. So, what is the main diagnosis? Neurogenic shock due to snake it bite. Was, it was here at this time. But if you see in the discharge plan, this is no in the in the after this you have made this assessment, okay? So do you think this assessment is more accurate or this assessment is more accurate? The last one. Yeah, the last one. This one. Know. This one, okay. After this, yeah. So how are you going to write like this a snake bite and then in the bracket neurotoxic? No. So just who has a diagnosis of snake bite neurotoxic, okay? Do you think this looks good? No. So what you are going to? Neurotoxic oh. snake bites. The toxic snake bite, okay. What else? How are you going to write a good sentence? His clinical science and symptoms uh, secondary due to the uh, neurotoxic yes, uh, uh, symptoms snake bite. Secondary to neurotoxic suggestive snake bite. Probable diagnosis. It is not suggestive here because the... this is final diagnosis. Suggestive is when there is question probable mark. Diagnosis. Is probable suggestive is the same. What else? Anybody else? Uh, there is a question mark, so we can write down, I think, for a uh, likely diagnosis of the snake no, bite. There is no question form. mark. There is no question mark here. The question mark was when the patient came at the start. Even not came. When patient was rescued by air ambulance, at that time, Patient was in neurogenic shock, okay? But patient, when given, came to the hospital, this is the final diagnosis that they have made. So there is no question mark here. This is the final diagnosis. Yeah, okay. Can you say um, with suspected neurogenic shock? How there's the diagnosis no need of to mention. There's no need to mention no neurogenic shock. Just oh. leave it, okay? Just mention okay. snake bite, or neurotoxic snake bite, okay? Okay, all right. You can write whose signs and symptoms are consistent with neurotoxic snake bite. You can write whose features are consistent with neurotoxic snake bite, okay? But as this is discharge letter, the diagnosis is already made and patients are already treated, I mostly like another way. I mostly like another way. Can anybody tell me what I like here? Mostly, whose sign and symptoms suggestive are, whose sign and symptoms are consistent with this type of language, mostly we write when we are uh, for referral letters, when you are sending this patient to another doctor, a specialist, okay, for the treatment. And this is discharge letter. Who is ready to discharge back into your care? Is in the second sentence, not in the first I sentence. I have a question. I prefer, I prefer here. Who has been treated for? Sometimes older children, they might be, they might say things that are very negative or self-derogatory. So we can say that who has a who has a diagnosed case of snake bite does not look very good. Okay, this language for body paragraphs, not for purpose. Okay, who has been treated for neurotoxic snake bite? Okay. Who has been treated, okay, in the hospital? Any issue here? Sir, got it, sir. Thank you. So, any mistake in the, in the sentence? There is one mistake in the letter, in the, this sentence. So, can anybody pick and write in the chat what is the mistake, please, in the chat? 
there is one mistake big mistake not small mistake big mistake neurotoxic with capital letters no need of neurotoxic someone is in so neurotoxic should be with small yeah you are seeing this okay now it is okay yeah. also snake bite is shouldn't why? be capital why what is the reason it's not nouns is not it's not names in our names what what do you mean i don't i don't believe this should start with capital i letters. agree with you i agree with you but we need some logic it's not a new sentence so it can't start with capital letter s there's no very full good. stop there so, very yeah. good excellent so we need to know why she is saying neurotoxic snake bite should be in small, not in capital letters. What is the reason? None of you know? How you read about diabetes? Who has been treated for diabetes mellitus? How you were right? Small letter. Small letter, sir. Why? Because it is the name of the disease. Name of the disease, okay. And yeah. snake bite is not the name of the disease, yeah? People, it's very easy, okay? Let us not waste your time, okay? If the name of a disease is a common name, like pneumonia, like diabetes mellitus, okay? So these names are written in small. We only write the name of a disease in capital. If the name of a disease is given after someone's name, can you give any example? Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease, Down syndrome, Alzheimer's disease, okay? Like this. Yeah. So even in that case, the syndrome, the disease will be in small. Only Alzheimer, Down, okay, Parkinson, these would be in capital the first word okay the first digit okay so we will make it small very good okay no it's okay who has been treated for neurotoxic snake bite what else you are going to write here she he or she is she she is being discharged today and what we need What do we need from the reader? Follow up. For the care and follow up. So yeah, for the care and yeah. follow up, almost okay. the same things. Just write one of them. Don't write both of them, okay? She's being discharged today and and you are follow up care or further care. You can write both of them, okay? One of them, okay? Your further care would be highly why I'm using this language? Because this is polite language and looks very good, okay? Polite language, good language, okay? Formal polite language, okay? So now this is your purpose, okay? She is being discharged today and your further care would be highly appreciated. Very good, okay? Now, on this date, Further care and management is mostly for ref letters. Someone is saying in the chat. Okay, sorry. So now let us go to the uh, this what happened at 10 in the morning. Just to tell you that normally I have been charging five pounds per letter feedback. Okay. So as uh, some of maybe some of you have already joined my course, but nowadays as I have started after a long time, uh, you know, after some days of break i have started classes again so i am giving some discount for written feedback it's just four pounds per letter and for online feedback on zoom like this okay so you will send me your letter you will get a fees, feedback 
वन टू वन फीडबैक ओके इंडिविजुअल फीडबैक जस्ट टू पॉइंट फाइव पाउंड पर लेटर एंड इफ इट इज ऑफ लाइन फीडबैक मीन यू विल गेट मॉडल आंसर यू विल गेट वॉइस नोट्स यू विल गेट ऑल द एक्सप्लेनेशन इन जस्ट टू पाउंड पर लेटर ओके सो वट है टेन इन द मॉर्निंग सो स्नेक बाइट और राइट फूड कैंपिंग इन द डेजर्ट सीवियर पेन ब्लीडिंग नाइन वन वन कॉल एयर एम्बुलेंस नो रोड एक्सेस फर्स्ट एड बाई टूअर गाइड रिमूव हाइकिंग शूज एंड सॉक्स वाश बाइट साइट विद सोप एंड वाटर ओके एंड वट एल्स कवर विद क्लीन एंड ड्राई ड्रेसिंग सो नो यू आर गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट दीज थिंग्स इन वन पैराग्राफ इट लुक्स वेरी ईजी बट इज डिफिकल्ट टू कन्वर्ट दैम इन वन पैराग्राफ ओके लेट्स ट्राई डेट ओके so on this date on 20 11 2022 you can register right 22 also on 10 am you can write 10.00 also so you will use name of the patient miss white so no i have not given you complete sentences i just give you snake bite okay camping in desert severe pain bleeding okay so you are going to make these in make them sentences so how you can make a sentence can anybody try just try to make a sentence here can you try to make a sentence miss <clears throat> sorry Miss White, uh, while she was camping in the desert, in the desert, mm -hmm. uh, she was bitten by a snake. Mm -hmm. And uh, then she felt severe pain and bleeding at the wound site. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, What else you are going to write? Uh, the tour guide had uh, called the ambulance. and he provided the first aid uh he 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 pro yes. he, he helped her with the first aid uh including removal of the shoes and socks mm -hmm. uh wash, washing the the bite with water i don't see and soap and soap yeah yes what else this was also uh, and also the wound was covered he, he covered the wound with a clean dry dressing very good excellent okay so this is what you are going to write okay excellent okay so you are making passive voice very good you are not going to write active uh, sorry you are not going to write present tense here okay you are going to write passive voice okay past tense here is good so you have used good uh, you know language miss white was bitten by a snake while camping in a desert okay just full stop here don't write too long letter too long long sentences okay she she had severe pain and bleeding just at her wound side or from her wound side okay um just right a passive as okay air ambulance ambulance would be small okay air ambulance was called as there was no access 
by road okay our tour guide provided her first aid by removing her hiking shoes and socks and socks and uh okay like this okay he also just one minute okay so he also washed her bite side with water and soap And what is the last thing? Covered with dry and clean dressing. Just we can continue here. And just write a good sentence because you are going to not write, you are not going to write very short sentences also, okay? So join this information together. And covered her wound side. with clean and dry dressing okay clean and dry dressing okay good how many words we have here 71 okay and how many words we have in purpose and in total we have 100 words okay Can you hear me? Yes. How many words we have here? 100 words. 101 words, okay? Yes. Just in purpose and in an in initial visit. So in conclusion, you will almost have... Uh, there are 30 words, almost 25 words you will have in light of the above. I would be grateful if you could do and this, that for the patient, okay? So, in conclusion, you will have 25 words, okay? So, 101 plus 25 in total, so far you have written 126 words, okay? How many words are remaining? Just let us take average, okay? You can write between 180 to 220 and just like take average of 200 words, okay? So, 200 minus 126 is equal to how many words 74 74. Okay. 74 words okay so 74 words so how many things you are still have to write in this letter so you have to write all these things that happened at 10 30 a.m in the morning treatment examination okay labor breathing, disturb vision, all of these, you know, sign and symptoms. Okay, this uh, this examination is important. This is the diagnosis, okay, neurogenic shock, okay. The treatment, then you are uh, going to write about what happened at 10 in the morning in the hospital, okay. At 11 in the morning at a hospital, what was the condition, what treatment was given. And you're going to write discharge plan also. Discharge plan. So how is the patient condition today and what you what the reader is going to do for this patient after discharge? Do you think if you have written 100 and uh, you know 126 words, you can cover all of these things in 74 words? No, sir. No, okay. It's not possible. It's not possible. I know this grammatically and English wise, this is good, okay? That the paragraph that you have written of 74, 71 words is good. English wise is good. You okay? So there's no problem with your English, your uh, grammar, your uh, type of sentences. Okay, is good. Is well organized. But this is too long. So how you're going to make it concise? This is this is you know difference between B grade and C plus grade.
how you're going to make it concise and mostly nurses struggle with this okay can we just say that first aid was provided from start? very good excellent who is there me it's, uh, it's you but your name <laughs> amira okay very good okay your doctor okay, or nurse no need a doctor doctors okay when is your exam i haven't booked it yet okay so when you book your exam one free oit writing feedback for you okay not Thank from this so letter from other letters okay okay so you will send me one letter i will get you, give you detailed feedback but this letter you people all of you can send me this letter and i will provide you feedback okay on your letters so there was no need to write all of these details but just you are writing to a doctor not to someone layman okay there was no need to write all of these things about the first aid just first aid was given by to our guide okay that is enough sir and there is no need to mention that there was no access by the road yeah very good excellent so you can skip this you can just air ambulance was called even this you can skip because when you can mention briefly somewhere the ambulance okay so now i will show you what i have written in the model answer okay just 39 words okay almost half of what you have told me okay can anyone read this for me please just let me make it a little bit bigger any nurse i would prefer one nurse who can read this for me yes please can you read it can anyone read please okay initially on 2011 2022 mrs white was bitten by a snake on her right foot at 10 am while she was camping in a desert she was provided first aid by her tour guide and was rescued by an air ambulance okay is it well organized concise to the point yes or no yes, yes no one a, a very important thing i have made one mistake intentionally yes. what is the mistake on, uh, it's supposed to be at 10 am yes. not on 10 why at that's the time with date we use on but with the time we use at, at okay at, at. at. Yes. but do you think does it look very good on this date at this time miss white was bitten can you see how i have arranged it within the sentence instead of writing at the start yeah just look at these small things just imagine for oet you done it a lot of english knowledge okay just you need to improve small things that because of that she has given feedback right in this class she was she got 322 times in the real exam the after joining my classes she already got feedback from here and there okay i will not mention the names after joining with me she got 420 100 marks improvement so what was the reason just i taught her these small things i i marked a lot of letters for her i gave her my own model answer this is the difference between others uh, teachers and me i gave my own uh, model answers okay i also mark the letters individually okay so these are small things so you can see how i have organized that arrange the time at this time okay while she was doing this so this is well good organization okay now let's move to the next okay sorry then we have this day this visit when the air ambulance arrived what was the condition of the patient what was given to the patient okay so air ambulance arrived there no need to mention amb air ambulance arrived okay or you can mention briefly at the bite side you see redness and when they came they saw this okay redness swelling bruising severe pain and redness signs of infection and labored breathing disturbed vision 
examination O2 saturation is low, you will mention this. Blood pressure is low, you will mention this. Temperature is okay, you don't need to mention. Pulse is normal, you don't need to mention, okay? So what do you will mention from examination? Saturation and blood pressure, okay? Weak pulse is important. Decreased knee reflex in, uh, in the affected leg, in the right leg is important, okay? So this uh, diagnosis you can mention briefly and then in the treatment, you will not mention each and everything, just the main thing, okay? IV fluid, analgesic, and the wound was washed with normal and antiseptic solution, okay? Can anybody try to make some sentences just quickly? And just tell me what you are going to, how you are going to organize this paragraph. Just we are going to end the class soon, just this this visit and next visit and then we will end the class. Okay. So can anybody try to make some sentences for this visit? Dr. Christine, you can try, okay, because your English is good. Sir, we can write appropriate treatment was given. Yeah, but the, for the last, I'm, I'm asking for the complete yeah. visit. Okay. One thing possible is we can do at this yes. time air ambulance arrived and she had redness, swelling, bruising, severe pain and redness on her bite side. Okay. Can, also, we, just, can we just write uh, signs of infection uh, on the bite side? We don't have to write in details what was the signs. Why? Can just be, we are, we are talking to the GP, so we can just write that she has signs of infection. GP knows what are the signs of infection. I think I yeah. Yes. I mean he, he doesn't need he knows, but he doesn't need to know what were the signs doctor. exactly. He's a doctor, but not doctor like me. Okay, who is teaching OET? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> okay. So, Jimmy knows these things, okay? So, why I'm writing this thing in the bracket? Just to help you, just to help you to make the your paragraph concise, okay? If you don't know this signal, this signal of bracket, you will write each and everything, redness, swelling, bruising, severe pain and tenderness, and mostly nurses will write all of these things, and then your letter will be long, and you will not get your required score, okay? So this was a hint to make it concise. Just right, she had signs of infection, labor breathing, and disturbed vision. Okay? Or her vision was disturbed and disturbed vision, okay? Then right in the examination, her uh, autosaturation was 88%, blood pressure was this, and uh, she had weak pulse and decreased knee reflex in the affected leg, okay? Then neuro, uh, neurogenic uh, shock, was uh, was uh, suspected and she was treated with analgesics, IV fluids, O2 and uh, her wound was washed with normal saline and receptor solution. Okay, like this. Okay, doctors and nurses also. So here I'm going to copy this. You will start with the time, okay? This is just like the date. Okay. Can anyone read this one for me? Dr. Amira or Nurse Amira? Yes. Yes, please. So, at ten thirty a.m., Miss White had White had signs of infection along with labored breathing and disturbed vision. Her BP and O2 saturation were low, and her right knee reflex was decreased. Neurogenic shock was suspected, and she was given morphine, IV fluid, and O2, and her wound was treated accordingly. Yeah. Doctor, you can just say our wound was cleaned, okay, okay. and uh, cleaned with uh, whatever it is mentioned, okay. Her wound was washed with normal saline and its antiseptic dressing was applied. You can do this, but just to make it concise, 
was treated accordingly okay so just you can mention this also it is not a problem okay you can see how i have made it there is no need to mention air air ambulance again and no man, no need to mention all these names of signs signs of infection no need to mention all of the redness this and that okay no need to mention temperature and pulse because they are normal okay and there is no need to give all the details of the treatment just briefly explain them okay no this is what you have treated in the hospital okay you will start with at this time and then you have all of these things if you write all of these things imagine your paragraph would have more than will have more than 100 words okay easily but you need to make it concise okay let us read okay okay There is no need to mention the patient the patient reached at Dr. Che Hospital. Okay, there is no need to mention this. Is just my advertisement. Okay, pain decrease is important. No bleeding. You can skip. Okay, new symptom tingling in right foot is important. Okay, decreased range of motion of right knee is important. Okay, right knee reflex is absent is important. Tosis and slurred speech is important. Okay. But how you are going to make a good sentence of all of these things is important. Is the real magic that you will do. If you can write a good sentence of all of these things, it means you can get easily B grade in your OET writing. Okay. Can anyone try to write a sentence or just think how you are going to write a sentence of all of these symptoms? Okay. This range of motion can we take uh, in the examination instead of in the symptoms? Is also possible, okay? Knee reflex, can we take it in the examination instead of in the symptoms? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, 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 sir. It's possible, okay? Knee reflex, it can be examination also. It can be symptom, it can be examination also. Uh, range of motion can be examination also. But ptosis, slurred speech, this should come in the symptoms, okay? Out of examination, O2 saturation is okay. Blood pressure is okay. Pulse is okay. Respiratory is okay. So, we will skip all of these things, okay? Vitals. But there is something new. There are multiple blisters of one to two centimeter on right foot and leg. Okay, this is important. What we can do is these blisters and this reflex and uh, this range of motion you can take as examination and pain, tingling sensation, ptosis, and slurred speech you can write as symptoms. Okay, let us see. Okay what I have done here. Okay, so what I have done is even you don't even mention over hospital, yes, was brought to hospital, okay? At this time, Miss White was brought to our hospital. You can skip over, just brought to hospital. You can write even the name of the hospital, Dr. Che Hospital also, okay? It's because you are the author of your letter, you can write anything, okay? You can write, you know, whatever the name of hospital, okay? These are my own case notes, by the way. I cannot teach others case notes due to some issues, okay? Due to copyright and these things, I get problems, okay? So, Mrs. White was brought to her hospital and her pain was decreased. But, no, you can see, if you were right, just her pain was decreased, she had tingling sensation. But what I am doing now here, good thing, 
and then bad thing okay so i am writing joining them with but okay but is showing something opposite okay it's coming okay do you think if you write like this it would look good or not try to participate i know you are tired because you have taken a you have taken long class okay so her pain was decreased this is good thing okay but there are some bad things also pain is decreased was decreased you need to use past tense okay but she had something new Negative. but she had a tingling sensation in her right foot tosis and slurred speech okay if you are a straightforward student you will write like this at this time miss white had decreased pain tingling sensation right foot tosis and slurred speech like this okay i will show you at 11 am miss white had decreased pain tingling in right foot tosis and slurred speech okay this is straight forward okay you have joined all of them things together she had decreased pain tingling sensation tingling in right foot tosis and slurred speech okay this is straight forward easy okay so but just just writing positive thing first and then negative things and joining them with but no i have improved to an advanced level in oet okay this is not high level of english is this high level of english any difficult english or i am writing something complex yes or no no i am not no. writing anything complex i'm just making it easy good okay and making it easy for the reader to understand so i am saying that okay dr che you are gp let me tell you that when she came to hospital her pain was decreased that is good thing but but okay signposting but she had tingling sensation in the right foot and this leg in leg also tosis and slurred speech no i am showing the neurotoxic symptoms okay these are the neurotoxic symptoms that is why my diagnosis is neurotoxic snake bite not just snake bite okay no examination her range of motion of right knee was decreased and the right knee reflex was absent so this is in the examination so we can uh, write rom yeah rom is okay. write yeah. R yeah rom is a, a, you know common term you can write it okay okay so what else so what i have done is i have taken these blisters with the treatment okay just to write a little bit better sentence okay she also had a blister of 1 to 2 cm and was given antivenom 40000 units and a booster dose of uh, tetanus was given i mean even i am not writing analgesic no because her pain was decreased okay analgesic is not too important important is antivenom and tetanus vaccine is more important yes or no yes sir yes. okay good thank you no you have two things you are going to write conclusion you are going to write today's visit okay this is your today's visit 24th okay and this is your discharge plan okay sometimes we write discharge plan before conclusion also we write separate conclusion but what i have done i have written this in the discharge plan i have written conclusion with discharge plan and i have written today's visit okay you can write another way also okay so it's very easy this 24th of i am having issue with my laptop also on this there is improvement no fever no vomiting no redness wherever it is no 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 just write her condition was improved okay and neurological examination this examination that examination you can write that as our examination was unremarkable is very easy 
Miss White's condition has improved today. Most of you write today at the start, okay? Today, Miss White's condition has improved. So what I have done is Miss White's condition has improved today. A little bit better way, okay? As her examination. So why it is improved? As her examination is unremarkable. Okay, examination is okay. And she has no signs of infection. Again, I am using conciseness. Again, all of these things are... Uh, Signs of infection? No, I'm saying no signs of infection. At the start, I was saying signs of infection, okay? And has no signs of infection, okay? So then the conclusion, what do you need to write in the conclusion? Monitor signs of infection is important to mention. Daily neurological examination is important. Daily dressing is important for the next five days. But it's difficult to write a good sentence of all of these things, okay? When you write by yourself, you will note it's difficult to make them and to arrange them in, in a sentence, okay? So what I have done here is, I will show you. I would be grateful if you could monitor her signs of infection, okay? And do her neurological examination and daily dressing for the next five days, okay? Done? It looks very easy, yeah? But when you will write by yourself, it would not be easy, okay? Any question? Anyone has any question? Any question? You can ask me if you have any question. Do you have any question? Have you learned something in today's class or not? Yes, can anybody sir. can anybody summarize what you have learned so far in today's class? Yes, two twenty six words. It is uh, from one eighty to two twenty. In this range, you can write your letter, but you are not going to include irrelevant information to make it long, and you are not going to skip any important information to make it too short. Okay. So between 180 to 220 is acceptable. Any other question? So this is just, yes. Please. The number of words includes the name and the address and the date in the beginning of the letter. No, no. Your word okay. count starts from I am writing to refer. The purpose. Uh, from the purpose. I am writing to refer. And your word count ends at conclusion, okay? After conclusion, your word count ends. The last sentence that you your word count will end here. This is your word count, okay? So we have because I'm writing here data che OET, data che OET, these things. That is why the word count looks. So overall, the word count is my word count is 226, okay? Is that a big issue? Okay. Five, six words above. Okay? So the last sentence, if you have any further queries, please do not hesitate to contact me. This is not included in your word count, okay? Any other question? Yeah, past history uh, is not important in this. In this letter is not totally irrelevant, not important. Any other question? Because the GP already knows about these things. And if patient, for example, if the mother is diabetic, and the patient was bitten by a snake, what is nothing to do with snake bite? And for mother is hypertensive, nothing to do with that, okay? Patient has hobbies of this and that, painting and this and that, nothing to do with patient's current condition of snake bite, okay? Any other question? What if she has some medical, chronic medical condition like hypertension or diabetes herself? It will not Would affect... you mention this to the GP? In, in oh, here, yeah, in know. this letter, no need. In this letter, no need okay. because this will not affect any treatment of the patient. Okay, and the GP knows about these things. GP is already treating this. For example, if the patient was hypertensive, for example, if the patient had any neurological disease like Parkinson disease, okay, that is that has to do with the nerves, okay, uh, like myasthenia gravis, like this. This diseases 
and due to this is a neurotoxic snake bite due to that if you have changed some medication or this neurotoxic snake bite can affect okay overall the disease condition of that patient then it is important to mention okay Otherwise, uh, no. so But if, if, if a patient is having treatment of Alzheimer disease, so due to snake bite, due to neuro neurotoxic, uh, you know, neurotoxic uh, shock, if you have changed the dose of medication of that patient that she was already taking, then it is important to mention. Yes, please. Any other question? Sir, uh, I'm Dr. Isbon. Yes. And I'm so thankful this was my first session. Thank and you. Uh, I learned and I wanted to give a little bit feedback. Yes, and uh, first of all, you told us, Mike, and I have been corrected to me that uh, you told that regarding that I am uh, writing to update you on this bite that is our her clinical signs and symptoms consistent with any state of thing, writing like uh, a suggestive or uh, likely the word. So I'm impressed that one, number Thank one. You. Second feedback regarding that one, you told us that uh, instead of being for the follow-up care or the further care, you have a similar word you can write. And yeah. uh, you told us regarding the small points like the date and time on where to put the on and it. So uh, that impressed one. So these were the small points. And how to make it short and summarize and active and case survives instead of the uh, present symptoms. Yeah. So uh, I would be appreciated if you go for another session like uh, reading and uh, probably I will take your uh, this. Uh, yes, well, I will. I will. I will. So tomorrow we will do speaking. So next class uh, on Saturday, we will do reading. And again, on Monday, we will do uh, writing again. So we will have we will we will rotate three modules. OK. Reading, writing, and for... speaking. Okay, listening I cannot do here uh, because uh, listening materials uh, we cannot share here. Sense. Yeah, but the uh, the problem is uh, one of the reading part C. So uh, yesterday I was missed, hmm. and uh, secondly, sir, I want. I have recorded that class. That... I have recorded that class, and I will upload on my YouTube channel. Okay, sir. Yesterday's you, sir. class and this one also. Okay. Oh, okay, sir. Uh, one one important question here that uh, can we write uh, the past medical and uh, relevant history if some if it is a, uh, a patient is a hypertensive or a diabetic or history of any uh, surgical history operative history in the follow up or uh, is supposed to be in a discharge later in the last in this letter no because this letter is already too long okay and this condition of the patient has nothing nothing to do with any chronic condition. Okay, this is just an emergency that patient got a snake bite, and this letter is already long because you are having three, four visits. Okay, 10 a.m., 10:30, 11 a.m. Uh, suppose sometimes sometimes it has been written that the patient is alcoholic or smoker. Yes, sometimes is even in this child letter. Sometimes we write these things when it is important or is you know almost important. Yes, there is no fixed rule in OET. So they're flexible about these things, okay? Or sometimes already the patient is taking the drugs like a warfare in or ADC that may interact with these uh, snack bites. So yeah. Pogulopathy, so so, as in a medically. Yes, so this is yeah, what you need to decide the, think, at, at the spot. Yeah, it, This is what you need to decide at the spot, okay? They will not make it too difficult for you, okay? Just imagine. In the real exam, they will not make your life difficult. Just you need to practice these letters that are already in the market, okay? Practice these letters, you will get some uh, any letter similar to that. And you just need to know how to make things concise, how to organize the paragraphs, how to make things easy and clear for the reader, okay? Don't make your life difficult and thinking and imagining, okay? So this could be relevant and this could be this. Don't overthink, okay? Just make things easy and simple and know it, okay? It's not a difficult exam. It's all right. Got it, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Once okay, again. thank you so much, all of you. If, if anyone needs any yeah. individual feedback, so written feedback is four points, okay. and online feedback on Zoom live with me is just 2.5 per letter, and offline is just two points. I used to charge a lot because 
a lot no because as you know it takes a lot of time and i have been teaching oet since 2020 is long time so i cannot compare myself with other new teachers okay so but nowadays i have a discount okay so thank you so much tomorrow we will do speaking okay thank you so much all of you any question someone is saying something yeah uh, sir the uh, all the time mentioned uh, 10 10 30 11 am so it is important or uh, we should conclude in the only one paragraph uh, for that visit yeah it we, have, uh, it... we have made three uh, paragraphs from that on that day 10 10 30 and 11 is that important or we can like, summarize in only in one paragraph yeah for example if the same letter i will tell you if in the same letter i write what happened at 10 am 10 30 am and 11 am after that if i give you for example three two more visits for example on 22nd of november this happened to the patient he was uh, taken to the icu he was into uh, you know intubated and he was given oxygen he was given uh, you know uh, this and that and uh, you know his saturation was low and on 23rd he was put off ventilator and he was shifted to the uh, you know respiratory unit he was given oxygen there he was given antibiotics he was given this and that and on today 24th he is his condition has improved and he is being discharged now your letter has become you know long you have 10 a.m 10 30 a.m 11 a.m then what happened to the patient on 22nd 21st okay is important what happened on 22nd is important okay so what you know you can do is all these 10 a.m 11 uh, 10 a.m 10 30 a.m 11 a.m you can write them in one paragraph just concisely important things then you will write what happened on 21st then what happened on 22nd and then what is patient's condition today so you need to see decide things according to the situation okay there is no fixed rule in oet Yes. Do you understand, Doctor, what I mean? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, 21st pay the visit. Uh, there is no visit uh, mentioned in on 21st. Just I am so saying. So how it, can we write? Just I am saying, if in the same case notes, yes, if in the same case notes, I make it a little bit more complicated. Mm -hmm. I've, I've, I write all of these things that are mentioned in this, these case notes, plus I tell you that uh, this is the, what happened. This is the 2020. Okay. This was 20 of November. On the next day, on 21st, patient condition deteriorated. He was shifted to the ICU. He was intubated. He was, his saturation was 50%. He was given oxygen. Okay. He was given antibiotics. He was given uh, other things. Okay. He was given adrenaline. He was given this and that. Okay. And he was given one pint of blood due to severe bleeding. This and that. Okay. On the next day, his condition improved. He was shifted to the ward, okay? But still, his saturation was low. He was given oxygen. He was given this. He was given that. He was given... Uh, his immunization was low. He was given, uh, you know, immunoglobulins, this and that, okay? And on the next day, his condition improved. Today, he's being discharged. Now, I make it more complicated. Two more visits, okay? And these visits are important. Yes or no? No, with yes, these yes. two additional visits, you cannot write 10 a.m. separately, 11 a.m. separately, 10.30 a.m. separately, okay? Mm -hmm. So what you can do is all of yes. things that happened on 20 of November at, at the first day, you will write them in one paragraph concisely and only important things, okay? Then you will write what happened mm -hmm. on 21st and then on 22nd and then what happened on today. So you will change your strategy according to the situation. Yes. Okay, thank you so much, all of you. So classes are already too long. So tomorrow we will do speaking. It would be a good class also. Uh, live feedback with me. So you can prepare yourself if anyone wants to participate with video, okay? I will provide yes, feedback sir, for uh, doctors and nurses also. Thing. Yes, sir, one important thing. Can you please share the uh, video or your uh, YouTube channel so we can subscribe and uh, that will be easy access for yesterday that you took a class upgrading. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've definitely, I will share a I link. Share and, a link yes, I will share link, all of things, okay? Just join my uh, WhatsApp, you know, community, so in which I will share the link and I will share, uh, you know,
and if anyone wants to participate you can text me thank i will you, give sir. you the chance okay to participate and you will give you will do role play you will be thank the doctor you, i will be thank the patient you, and after doing the role play we will i will provide feedback okay okay thank sir, you so thank much you, all of you thank you